So Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Oh my gosh. You've been evangelizing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was coming up. Yeah, after Benedict, after Jesus Benedict, Jiu Jitsu is like the thing you evangelize. Oh, you've been evangelizing me for a while. And I know, <laughs> funny enough, a number of Christian guys I respect who have gotten yeah. into this and gotten their families into it. And I like to exercise to get away from people and not be touched. The, um, the introvert <laughs> is like, I don't want people to And you it. just are so like all about it. And so can you explain the draw for it, the the lessons you've learned from... And why jujitsu over anything else? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, so part of it's happenstance. My colleague in philosophy, um, uh, Jim Madden, he's been doing it with his family for about six, seven years. And he's been talking to me for a while and I finally acquiesced. And so last year and a half... We've all been doing it. So I've got everybody from my seven-year-old son, my 11-year-old daughter, my 15-year-old and 16-year-old sons. We're, we're all in it. And, and you. And me. And, yeah. and I, I, at first, it was self-defense for my older boys was what I was looking for. And then I just fell in love with the art. And I'm like, I got to get my daughter in this. I got to get my other son in this. And um, truthfully, I would trade all my years of football in a second to start this at 10 years old. Wouldn't blink an eye. I mean, I would do that in a second. Um for a number of reasons, I'd say the kids, what they'll tell you first thing off, if you ask them, like, what's it giving you, they will just say the confidence. Because they're, they're, uh, you can come from team sports and excelling, but there's something about, like, knowing I did that. And I'm getting, and it, it's something you get better at. And it's, I love it for a lot of reasons. I mean, it's not nearly as macho as, it, as you might think. I mean, it, jiu-jitsu for one, by the way, it's not like people think it's like kung fu. I mean, it's, 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 it's like wrestling plus joint locks and chokes and, you know, it's, it's submissions. And so it's it's more submi- oh submissions than like striking. And there's no striking involved. Right. So it's like uh, one of our friends said nowadays, like you could get sued for like punching, like punching someone. Like in a bar. if you strike, even in self-defense, you could get sued. But versus if you jiu-jitsu, like, jitsu if I just subdue and like. <laughs> Take it to the ground. New yeah, like, quiet now. Quiet sleep, out. baby, yeah. sleep. No, I'm a little biased, but like Jocko Willink, the, the Navy SEAL, I mean, his hierarchy of martial arts is number one, jiu-jitsu, mm. two, wrestling, three, kickboxing. Like, like, and it's, I mean, when you Google, like, what's the most lethal martial art, jiu-jitsu, very Not often comes up first. Not even Krav Maga, like, hmm. get him in there. Often comes up first. <laughs> and, and, but it's, yeah, so. Um, we know you're number one, Jay. But it's a finesse game. Like, when I started, I would get destroyed by guys half my size because they knew what they were doing. And I still, I mean, people that are really well trained are, I mean, it's it's not about like macho macho, which for me back in the day, like high school, like football player, like, oh, I can out bench you, blah, blah, blah. Like this is like you can't go by looks because like it ain't about like looking like you can do something. It's about like, do you have the skill set to and it just it, to me, it comports with the spiritual life, too. Now here I'm, I'm, I'm no, spiritualized this, but I, 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 yeah, I want to hear the, the I want to hear the theology. I mean, maybe this is just well, the theology of jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu. one side thing is I meet more non-Catholics at the jujitsu gym than anywhere else. And, and to get my my kids around that and, and to, I always said this, I want them to be able to navigate the world and be comfortable in their own skin in season, out of season, around Catholics and not around Catholics. And so I think that's that's good for all of us. Um, but two on this, and maybe this is just me philosophizing about jujitsu, but like you're taking, I mean, the whole point is like, what does that person do and how can I take their momentum and use it against them? And to me, you look at the cross, it's like, here's this onslaught of sin and death and the evil one. And Jesus our Lord, our Lord, the divine jujitsu artist <laughs> just turns it against itself. But that's, that is what jujitsu is all about. What the I devil mean, meant for harm, yeah. God made I mean, you know, where's Genesis 45, 5 and 50 verse 20, Joseph says, you know, you meant it for evil, but that God allowed it that many would be saved. Um, and where it came from, it came out of judo. And some of the stories that I've seen, some documentaries, like, like it starts with a guy who like was not very athletic. It was like, how do I how do I face off against a guy who is more athletic than me, stronger than me? And so the whole thing is like any, I mean, my, our head guy, he's had 54 pro MMA fights and he wrestled in college and he's like, look, not everybody can wrestle because wrestling has a lot to do with how athletic you are, et cetera. He's like, but anybody can learn jujitsu. So it's sort of like, it's the, it's the art that can level the playing field and it's absolutely lethal, but it's, it's so, it's also safe though. So this is, I mean, last thing I'll say is, you know, to for Sarah and my in-laws, I, I had to make this case, <laughs> oh, right? Oh gosh, she had to make it. I was like, <sighs> I think you're way more likely to get hurt on a football field because in jujitsu, yeah, you're being choked and it's joint locks. And if someone were to like, keep pressing, like you're going to break something, right? But the moment you tap, the person stops. So you can shut it off whenever it starts to get dangerous. In the middle of a football play, you can't be like, hey, I'm about to break my leg. Could you stop? Like it, it doesn't yeah. work like no, that. No, walk it off. Yeah, walk it off. And, and I guess maybe last, it's like, okay, in training the man or the woman it's like do you want to be i mean i love sports i'm not trying anti-sports culture 
but it's such an end in itself in our country. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I love sports as a means to character development, but I worshiped that altar for so long and I, I, I don't want my kids to do that. And it's like, okay, at the end of the day, do you want to be able to throw a ball? Or God forbid, hopefully it never, you never need it, but be able to kill someone if you needed to. And it's like, what really matters at the end of the day? And, and honestly, like it's even changed how I, as a fan, I mean, I still am a fan of sports, but like it's in football, we use always military metaphors. It's like, this isn't really a fight. I mean, jiu-jitsu is a little bit closer. UFC MMA is, is even closer, but it's like, you know, you, you think you're tough. I thought I was tough, but this kind of doing this really relativizes that whole scene. So if someone's coming at you, <laughs> I just have a practical question. <laughs> like if they're coming at you and you know jujitsu, but they're coming at you with kickboxing, they're coming at you like you're standing up. Like how do you get them to, because jujitsu has to happen on like the ground, right? Well, or, like you learn how to like get them there. No, I, I'm still at the beginning, right? So I'm a year and a half in, so I, I, I'm not your black belt guru by any means, but there's stats that'll say like from 70 to even 90% of fights end up on the ground at some point. I mean, most fights end up on the ground at some point, and that's where jiu-jitsu thrives. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, uh, someone, if you watch like UFC, you watch like a jiu-jitsu guy and a karate guy, what's going to happen is the jiu-jitsu guy is going to get into the karate guy. And usually, usually the karate guy can't keep the jiu-jitsu guy off of him. I mean, the, he's going to get up into him. He's going to get, like, in other words, I can stand like three feet away from you and you could hit me. But if I get up in your grill, you can't swing in the same way. So self-defense, yeah. the best thing you can do is hug him. Because they can't. I'm just, like just going to get, they I'm just gonna get in your grill. You. And that's, that's, that's even, even, if I pull, so even if I pull you on top of me, I mean, you just can thrive with my back on the ground. Like I can just pull you on top of me and all of a sudden, before you know it, we're flipped and I'm on top of you. And and what I love about it, it's almost like this, uh, it's like a Jedi fighting, right? I don't need to hurt you. I can just absolutely disarm you and show you that I'm in control of you and you can't. I mean, there, there was a story just in the last six months uh, in Chicago, a Seven Eleven, like some dude was 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 giving these uh, people trouble, harassing them, and there was a black belt jujitsu. I don't know if you saw the story or not. And he, the move's called a gift wrap. He got this guy on the ground, had his arm pinned back, sat on him for 19 minutes until the cops came. Now this is like, <laughs> I mean, this is like a 19. I mean, respectfully, like I, I, this is like a, a 19, 20 year old you know guy who's sitting ready to like you know give people trouble and rob a Seven Eleven. And this older jujitsu black belt was able to, without hurting him, without throwing a punch, disable him, disarm him, and pin him down. The guy was like, help, get off me. I mean, there, there's like a, no, no, for <laughs> real. Like, like it. Google this thing, funny. Google 7-Eleven Chicago jujitsu. Yeah. And the picture is hilarious of this guy just tying him up in a pretzel. <laughs> And this guy's just completely immobilized. And that's the beauty my, of jiu -jitsu. As the As the mom and the wife of the jiu-jitsu artist, my favorite thing about it is, like Swaff said, it makes them more confident and more cautious. Because you walk into a room and you're like, I know I can defend myself. But you also walk into a room and you go, I don't know what everybody else knows. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like they could be a black belt in jiu-jitsu. And so I think for the kids, it's just, it's helped them to be like, especially for Kate, Kate's really good. Shoot. Like Kate is really, really good. This is my 11, my I mean, 11, like, our 11 year old if, daughter if is really, really her, good. I'm like a hundred pounds more than it, but like, it's not easy for me to do whatever I want. And it's like, that's the beauty of jiu-jitsu. Awesome. And the stupidest thing I've ever said is, is it a good workout? Cause like I went up one day and watched them and they are just like drenched in sweat because it's one of the few martial arts that you don't, you go full on every time. So like in kickboxing or something, you can't go full on cause you're going to kick someone in the head and then you quit. <laughs> practice whereas in jiu-jitsu you go until someone taps so it's it's literally you're going full on every time so they're just drenched in sweat yeah like your kids your kids have put me in pain like <laughs> trying to practice a few, on you. A few times <laughs> my 16 year old su submitted me this summer like yeah. i mean if you i weigh like 100 pounds he submitted me which think about it's a skill game think about for the confidence of a young man and you're not letting him win no, no not at all no yeah. like i mean, I, yeah. I beat dad yeah like that that's <laughs> but but in terms uh, of yeah you know totally. those yeah initiation processes of yeah. becoming a man like that's you're so great you guys just made swaf's day thanks for asking about like he got the moment. i feel like i'm gonna get sucked in eventually um oh. even with with the kids with our, da our daughters Jackie yeah, yeah i think they would thrive. i think they would thrive and the, the longer he looks at me with those eyes swafford does <laughs> i know i'm going to you're the next victim yeah i will be sucked I in too it.